Creating a strategy map in Spider Impact requires that it's enabled within the admin settings. To show where that's located, I'll select Administration in the bottom left, and then Application Administration. Under Methodology, I then enabled Display Strategy Maps. And I'll go back to Home. On the primary navigation pane on the left, I'll then select Scorecards. I see that a scorecard has already been developed using the classic scorecard design with the financial, customer, internal processes, and organizational capacity perspectives. Underneath the four perspectives are many objectives and measures. With the scorecard structure in place, a strategy map was then developed using the strategy maps link on the left. I see there is a mobile world strategy map that contains a display of our objectives along with a colorized display of our performance for the month of September. I could dissect this map in more detail, but my main goal is to build a new one. With that said, I'll select new strategy map and give it a name of training. See that there are two options, automatic and blank. It's important to note that the automatic option is only available because the mobile world structure contains a scorecard with perspectives directly under the scorecard root. If it did not, only blank would be available. However, since it's available and helps make life a lot easier, I'll leave the default of automatic and select create. Immediately a strategy map has been created representing the perspectives and objectives found in the mobile world scorecard. Click on full screen to get a better view of the entirety of the strategy map. I can now more easily see the four perspectives and the three objectives that each contains. The next thing I'd like to do is add arrows to the map to indicate cause and effect relationships between the objectives. To do so, I'll simply click on an objective like improve knowledge and skills, select the arrow icon, and an arrow will automatically be generated. I can move the arrow around the map. I'll just move it over and then back to the original. I now want to create an arrow that shows a relationship between objectives that are not right next to each other. I'll select Improve Contract Management, select the arrow icon, and now move it up to the objective Improve Market Awareness. Unfortunately, the lines going straight through Improve Clarity of Offering, which doesn't look great, but I can easily adjust that with the circle in the middle and move that over a bit to the right. In addition to where a line sits, I also have the ability to control its darkness, width, and whether it's solid, dashed, or dotted. If the line was added in error, I can also choose to delete it altogether. One more thing to note is that the strategy map is really just a dashboard. As such, I have the ability to add additional widgets, like images and text, by clicking the plus icon at the top left. I can also move objects around the screen by simply moving them around. I can also resize objects if I wish by clicking on an edge and dragging it out. When I'm done with my changes, I'll click Save in the top right, exit full screen, and then remove myself from edit mode by selecting Done.